welcome back to Unseen Sports TV. My name is Coach Javon Parchment. I hope you guys are doing well and doing okay. Reggae Boys fans, you know, after the work, after have to, you know, give you guys information on what is going on. So, Jamaica versus USA, much update. Jamaica versus USA, much updates. Fun facts, you should know, coming into the work of people. So, I have this information to give you. All right, so the first thing on the table is that the match time from 8.30 has moved up to 906 all right so this is reported you know by uh members of the the the, 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 the reggae boys um technical staff that the match has changed from its original time which is 8 30 now to 906 kickoff time same time in chicago people uh, you know jamaica and chicago has the same time uh, so the match is now at 906 give me some time to get back from my game with the, my prep school teams to the final day of event you know quarter final semi-final and finals so three matches if you win the first two you are into the final in the prep school big up kw uh williams for putting on this prep school competition you know the thing already big up on yourself kelly williams football competition prep school competition yes so people give me enough time to reach back so that I can, you know, um, look at this game. So, people, there are more fun facts that I want you guys to understand. For the first time in World Cup history, Jamaica is participating in five World Cup tournaments in a row, 2015, 2017, 2019, 2021, and now 2023. This is the first time this is happening. Jamaica is one of four teams to play in the World Cup final twice. USA, Mexican, Panama are the others. Right, people. So these are fun facts coming into the World Cup. Jamaica has played 50 matches in World Cup history. The only Caribbean team to accomplish this feat. Four, the summer will be Jamaica 30th World Cup appearance, 1991, 1993, and 98, 2000, 2003, 2005, 2009, 2011, 2015, 2017, 2019, 2021. All right, people. Jamaica largest margin of victory at a World Cup game was. Four love to Grenada in 2011. People, I can give you the names of the referee and you guys can go and check up on them and see if they are good referees. You understand me? Referee Cesar Ramos from Mexico will be <laughs> the man blowing the whistle on the field. First assistant referee is Alberto Morin from Mexico. He will be holding the flag. Second assistant referee is Marco Bis. Guerra from Mexico is a Mexican officials, people. Mexican officials. And I know, uh, maybe, 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 maybe people, they might, you know, vouch for Jamaica a little bit because, you know, America beat them up bad the other day. <laughs> I'm just talking. Yeah, some people. Anyway, so fourth official is Fernando Guerrero. Um, the VAR is Eric Miranda. And VAR 1 is George Perez from Mexico, people. So, those are the updates going into the game tomorrow, people. Tune in on Unseen Sports tomorrow for a live watch along. We, I, will be there with El Futura Boss doing live watch along. People, you understand me? I will be there doing live watch along. One of the things I have heard a lot of people talking about now is, um, you know, what style of play should we you know go forward in this in this usa game and you know people saying that um you know shouldn't we should we should try to keep the ball more in the opponent's half and you know don't try to really play out from the back you know go with the long direct football and stuff and you know i can say in some aspect we can do some of that but if it's not working what is our plan b that is my question what is our plan b the long direct type of football is not working oh what is our plan b how can we outsmart this usa team and really pick them and pick them apart you understand me with people you know, stop worrying about c team and b team you see this american team one thing with america them always play to assist them because they have a system they have a philosophy they always look good no matter who they put in the name squad them always them always look good when they play jamaica always you understand me so at the end of the day at the end of the day we must find a way 
outsmart them. This long ball thing is easily stopped by, by, by teams in the world. Easily stopped. It's direct football. Easily stopped. Easily, easily, easily stopped. You understand me? We need, we need, we need to understand this. You understand me? But all in all, I'm very happy and I'm optimistic and I'm waiting for that game tomorrow. People waiting, 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 waiting for that game tomorrow with Jamaica versus USA. Who will win? <laughs> I am saying Jamaica will win. You understand me? The next question to you guys. Who will win the Gold Cup? What's the best chance of winning the Gold Cup? Is it Jamaica, USA, or Mexico, or Canada? What's the thought? Chop it in the comment section. I'm going to tell you who I think will win this competition. <laughs> I think that Jamaica has the edge this time around based on the squad that they have. The first game, I will then make a concrete argument why Jamaica will win this competition. So after the first game, I will tell you exactly if I'm going with Jamaica to win the competition. But I believe that Jamaica can do it. I believe that we can do it based on the quality that we have going forward and in defense. You understand me, people? And the coaching staff as well. Anyway, people, drop in the comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Unseen Sports, one scene. Remember, 906 tomorrow evening. Find the stations on the, on the internet. You understand me? Unseen Sports, one scene. Always on the scene. I am going to be out in a few. Over here.